I'm just going to go into fat legs drop off. What? Are, are you fat leg? No, this is Trusteve. Interesting. Who are you? I'm Trusteve, trader. Oh, let us barter, Trusteve. Quite a few arrows. Hmm. Nothing overly impressive, I see. <clears throat> Perhaps I could interest you in something of mine. Um, got an expensive amulet, if you like that. I've got many loots as well. But they are all mine. You cannot have them. I've also got a limeware platter. Have you heard the, uh, the mystery of the limeware platter? <laughs> and some of this and that. Lots of odds and ends, you know. I wander through the forests, I pick up many things, and uh, usually I can get a pretty good price for them. I'll say that you are not doing me the best I've uh, ever seen. Hmm. <laughs> Boots of blinding speed. <laughs> Blind 100% on self. Fortify speed 200 points. Just running around like a chicken with your head cut off. But they are relatively valuable, so uh, I will offer them up. He doesn't have that much gold. But maybe we can find something to trade. Yes, yes. Swift swim? No, no, no. I do not think so. Hmm. I guess I shall find someone else. He does not have enough gold. Can I help this you is out? a little place. Oh, Rasid. Hello, friend. Let's share some rumors, indeed. It was inevitable. The local criminal organization, the Kamana Tong, wasn't gonna stand by and let the Thieves Guild set up shop in their territory. It'll be bloody, and the Thieves' Guild doesn't stand a chance. Hmm. Well? Sweet moon, sugar. The, the Thieves' Guild have been pretty, uh, hospitable to me. Oh lord. Still raining. I'm just gonna hang out in your guys' house, okay? Can I, uh, crack open a wine bottle? Sarah. You got something in this jug? No? That's fine. Don't worry. We're just gonna hang out for a good long while. It's been a lovely night, gentlemen. I'll see you later. Hopefully it stopped raining. No, it has not. Ugh. Well, I think I have overstayed my welcome. And now without the chainmail on my head, although it obviously had holes, it did make me feel a bit better. I didn't have to feel the drops upon my fur. Perhaps I should just loiter outside their house for a little while. I don't want to be rude. Let's wait it out. Yes, no problem. This is a rainy place. My goodness. Mm. Hey fellas, I'm back. So, uh, how's it been? Yeah, I, I was out and about on the town today. As long as you didn't look out the window, as far as you're concerned. Uh, do you have any more money that I can take from you? I mean, trade with you? Damn it. <laughs> What's up, blinding speed? No, you don't have enough. I don't want to give you these. We are not friends like that. Uh, but we can just hang out for a little bit longer, right? Hooray! Party time! Aw, oh, you guys, you guys are just great, you know? I'll really come back anytime. <laughs> oh, damn it! 
So much rain! <clears throat> I guess I'll sleep out here in this basket tonight. <laughs> ah. Oh, it seems to have cleared up for the second. Let's get out of this horrible place. We'll go north a little bit. Hmm. Say the mean. This is where we started. That's interesting. Maybe we should just go back to the boat. The boat was not bad, you know? But I'm also hoping there's a trader. An enchanter, a tailor, something besides just a bunch of houses. This is a smuggler's cove, right? You're supposed to uh, smuggle things. No? Guess not. Let's travel, you and I. Mulagmar, Vivek, Ebenhart. Where's Ebenhart? Take me there. Take me there, girl. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. It is far, far, far to the south. Surrounded mostly by water, it seems. There's one path out of here. But it does seem like a place where I can uh, find some goodies. It's not just a hole in the wall. <laughs> We've spent enough time in holes in the wall. I don't need your ear, thank you. The North Warehouse. All right. I'm intrigued. Go ahead. Oh. Is there some specific place? Do you have a, a cave rat problem? No, you don't. Everything's fine. Oh my. That's quite a mask. No worries. I won't hurt you. Ask your question. What do you know about the Thieves Guild? You might have to look around and talk to the right people. Are you not the right people? You don't know anything about that? You don't want to sell me anything? Fine. I don't want to buy anything. This is supposed to be the East Empire. Can I buy things from the Empire? They've got lots of warehouses but don't seem to want to sell me things. Ah, six fishes. Oh, I like that. Hmm. Speak freely, friend. I won't. <laughs> Juju. I'm Juju, and this is even hot. If you're new here, you'll be wanting to ask about our many services. I imagine you would mind a little advice. Yes, tell me about the services. Agning is the publican of the Six Fishes. He rents, bell rents beds and sells food and sundries. The Imperial Cult Shrine services include a priest, healer, monk, enchanter, apothecary, trader, and savant. The Imperial Legion services of Hothmok Legion Garrison include a healer, smith, master at arms, scout, trader, chaplain, and battle mage. For other services, visit Vivek City, the Foreign Quarter in particular for Fighters Guild and Mages Guild services, and the Great House Compounds for kin and retainers. My goodness, you are thorough. Uh, and... What is that advice you are also talking about? If you're heading into the backcountry, I always carry a couple. Restore health, restore fatigue, cure poison, cure disease, cure blight, flying, slow fall, fortify acrobatics, everything potions with you. Yes, I do that. May I help? That's why my backpack is always so full. I can rarely afford anything else. Hmm. Some training. Pretty good training. I'm not quite in need of a rest just yet. But I like to know the people that I am uh, associating with. At some point I might decide, oh, I need some mysticism and go visit this woman. It's not likely. <laughs> May I help you? I've been helped, thank you so. Just wanted to look at your gorgeous face. And now I'm in the basement, chained to a radiator. Isn't that always, always how it goes with the women? Women are always trouble. 
I am always optimistic and I always regret it. <laughs> Not in the moment though. In the moment it feels great. Argonian mission. A bunch of scale skins in here. I hope I didn't say that too loud. Hello, hello, hello. Greetings. Oh, yes, double greetings to both of you. That's four greetings, if you're keeping track. Hey, what are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. That's not what I asked. <laughs> ah, yes. Walk away. What is it? A wee mo whip, a wee mo whip, a wee mo whip. A wee mo web in the jungle, the mighty jungle. Brenda needs some spells. Cause it's a jungle, an awful jungle. It's like a living hell. A wee, a wee mo bum boy. Oh, oh! Oh no! No, 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 no! I seek nothing down here. There's water. What are you doing with water inside of your building? I thought it was a mission, a safe place. I was singing songs of rapture and joy, and now it's over! It's all over! Goodbye. Enough. <sighs> Is this somewhere different? <laughs> Skyrim mission. Interesting. Full of Nords, I presume? Hmm. Quite interesting. Cure poison potion. Potion of Paralyze. Ooh, the Wolf Queen. Speak up! I was not saying anything. I was about to sit and read this book silently to myself. Because it sounds fun. We can't start with chapter 4, but we'll have a peek at the Wolf Queen. Oh, hand-to-hand -hand increased. From the pen of the first century third era sage Montekai. A year after the wedding of his 14-year-old granddaughter, the Princess Pateva, the King Montekiaro of the Nordic Kingdom of Solitude, the Emperor Uriel Septim II passed on. His son Pelagia Septim II was made Emperor and faced a greatly depre depleted treasury thanks to his father's poor management. As the new Queen of Solitude, Patema faced opposition from the old Nordic houses who viewed her as an outsider. Montiarco had been widowed and his former queen was loved, but she had less than a son, Prince Balthagor, who was two years older than his stepmother and loved her not. But the king loved his queen and suffered with her through miscarriage after miscarriage, until her 29th year, when she bore him a son. Ugh. I'd rather le read about the slitting throats, if I'm quite honest. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends. 